Hi, Chris D'Souza here. Welcome to this video. So as you can see, GetResponse is my preferred autoresponder by far, and I'll tell you why in a minute. I'm going to give you a bit of a tutorial and show you exactly how it works, how to get your autoresponder set up, and why I use and recommend this service. This is the GetResponse user interface, and you can start your free 30-day trial just by entering your email address and password here. There's no credit card required. And if we have a look underneath here, you'll see basically the features of GetResponse, which is email marketing, webinars, landing pages, and marketing automation. So if we just scroll a bit down, you'll see that obviously your autoresponder can be used for different industries, such as e-commerce, real estate, um, if you're an affiliate marketer, if you're selling your own products, etc. This email marketing is basically the core function of GetResponse. Now, it contains a drag and drop email editor which makes it extremely easy to create emails. You just literally drag a box and upload an image. You drag a text box if you want to if you want to add um, some text to your, to your emails. The next thing is the autoresponder, which is basically something that allows you to send emails automatically. So if a prospect subscribes to your list or, or to your landing page, the autoresponder will kick in and start sending emails to them in an automated fashion. There's advanced analytics so that you can actually track who's opening your emails, who's clicking on the links within your emails. You've got A-B split testing, which means you can actually split test different emails, different um, landing pages, etc. You've got the perfect timing option, which sends your email at the optimal hour of the day per individual subscriber. Um, you've got forms, which is basically similar to a landing page, and there's a couple other features here. I'm not going to get into that just yet. And of course, you've got your landing pages, which basically captures your prospect's email address so that you can market to them. And you've got your webinars that you can set up, and a very easy setup of webinars. Then you've got your marketing automation. Now, GetResponse has taken a very complex, time-consuming, and expensive task and made it simple, quick, and inexpensive. Now, marketing automation is basically a workflow that you create that listens and reacts to your subscribers' behavior. Now, if you know the ins and outs of online marketing, then you know that this function alone blows all other autoresponders out the water. And the best part about it is that it's available on the entry-level package. Now, if we go and speak about their support, it's second to none. They're very friendly guys. They've got a very quick response rate. And um, yeah, so without further ado, let's get started. I'm just going to scroll back up to the top here and then log in. Just bear in mind that as well that the user interface changes from time to time. So if you're not seeing this exact user interface, don't worry. You can go ahead, sign up and log in. You'll have the exact same thing on the back end when you, after you log in. All right, so I understand that time is a precious and limited commodity in everyone's life, so I'm going to try to keep this as short as possible, but yet to the point and as effective as possible. So straight after logging in, this is the, the screen you'll see. Now, the first thing that you'd want to do when you log in is to create a campaign. Now, a campaign is basically a list. So if we go to the top right-hand corner here and you click on this arrow, you can click on Create Campaign. And this is where you'd give your campaign a name. So basically think of a campaign as a folder that contains all of your leads or prospects that opted into your squeeze page. You've got to keep your campaign name unique throughout GetResponse because GetResponse basically checks your campaign name against the entire database. So if someone else has got a campaign name called test, for example, you can't have a campaign name called test. So for this example, let's just call it test and we give it a random number. Hopefully this isn't in the database. We'll click create campaign. Okay, now the very next thing you'd want to do is click on edit campaign settings. So in the general tab, basically you've got your campaign name over here. You can choose what language you want to set. This, basically, I leave this off because I don't want to get a notification every time someone subscribes. Else you'll be bombarded with emails all the time. Postal address, you'll need to leave that on because it is required by the US CAN spam law. So the very next thing you'd want to do is click on permission. And here you'll see something that says enable confirmed opt-in. Now what this is is basically a double opt-in. So if someone has just subscribed to your list, if you want them to confirm their subscription, 
then you can leave all of these ticked, your email, web, and API subscriptions. Basically, what this does is as they've subscribed to your list, as they've basically entered their email address into your squeeze page, they will also be sent a confirmation email, which they will need to click in order for them to be added to your list. If you don't want the double opt-in and you just want them to be added to your list directly after opting into your squeeze page, then you can just untick all of these. And it's as simple as that. It gets automatically saved. As you can see, it says settings updated. And that's pretty much it. So let's go ahead and create our first autoresponder. So what you need to do is come to messages at the top of here and you'll click create autoresponder. Now, what separates get response from the rest, and this is huge, is that they've got different autoresponders. They've got time-based, click-based, open, etc., etc. The list goes on. So basically, I'm not going to get too much. Uh, I'm not going to explain too much on what these other ones are. But basically, let's just say the clicked autoresponder. Let's say you've just sent your list an email and you only want them to receive the follow-up email if they click a link within that email. So you can basically create a clicked autoresponder that basically does that for you. But 95% of the time, we'll be using the time-based autoresponder, which basically means you can set up your, your email to go out at a specific time. So let's stick to this and focus on the time-based. So we can scroll down here and see on day zero. Now what this means is, you're creating an autoresponder for day zero, meaning as soon as they opt in to your squeeze page, this is the email that they will get straight afterwards. Now, um, you can set a bit of a delay on that. If you select this, you can you can send the, the first email after they, they opt in immediately. You can send it with a delay, or you can choose no other than and basically select a, a time, etc. Now, usually what we do is we'll just leave it on immediately. And then you can actually choose which days of the week you want to send it on. And what I usually do is leave it all days of the week ticked. There's not really any reason that you want to untick any days. So if you're wanting to choose a message that you've previously sent or a saved draft, then you can come here and choose message over here. And you can select that message that you've previously sent or a draft that you saved. Or if you want to go ahead and create a brand new email, you just come to create new email over here. So as you can see, there are three fields here. The first field is message name. Now this message name, your prospects will not see this. This is for your reference only. And it's basically to differentiate your emails from each other. So let's say we've got a list on dog training. So we can just call this free ebook, free ebook on dog training. So that you'll know when you see this message, what the actual message is about okay so let's say this is the first email that you want to create when someone opts into your squeeze page so the subject field over here your prospect will see now bear in mind that the subject field is something it, it's it's basically got to be enticing and it's it's basically the second thing that your your prospect will see the first thing that they'll see is the from field so they'll see your name and then the subject field. So you basically got to keep it enticing or, or to the point. If your squeeze page shows um, something about a free ebook on dog training, then make sure that this one will say, here's here's your free dog training ebook. Okay. So we can click next over here. And this is where you can choose your templates. So you can go through these over here and see exactly what templates you want to use. But let's say we want to keep it short and keep it simple. So we can go ahead and click start from scratch over here. Now, this is basically your layout of your blank template. So you can have, obviously, this shows an image with text at the bottom. This will have some text at the top with an image in the middle and some text at the bottom. So let's say we want it completely blank. We'll just scroll right down to the bottom. Click on blank template over here, and this is what the email creator looks like. What's cool about GetResponse is that you can also see exactly what they, they'll see on their mobiles. So if you want to get started, we'll basically have a look at these blocks on the side here. We want to text block, so we'll double click this, and it populates on this, field, on this side over here. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to pause the video quick and quickly populate an email, compile an email, 
so that we don't waste too much time on this. So I'll see you in a bit. All right, and we're back. So basically, I just compiled a quick email that thanks your prospect for the interest in the free dog training ebook and basically telling them exactly what they can expect in this ebook. So what you can do as well, you can treat this as a Word document, for example, where you can actually change the text size. So let's say if we highlight it here, we can actually change it here. We can change it to 15, 16, etc. You can change the font. You can basically change the color, make it bold, italic, underline, all that sort of stuff. Um, what we can also do, which is very useful, is hyperlink the text. So if I want them to click on this link over here or this text, to take them to the ebook, I can basically just highlight this and click on this little icon that looks like a chain and then put in the URL to the ebook. So so let's just say for example that's the URL to the ebook. We'll click on OK. And then as you can see that becomes a clickable link. So that's as easy as that. And if you want to add pictures and stuff, you can basically just come to the image block and just double click that. And then you'll select choose image and you can basically upload from a URL or upload from your computer. What's also pretty cool is you can see exactly how the email will look on a mobile device from the right hand side over here. And quick tip, once you finish compiling your email, you can come over here to send a test message to yourself and you can also check the spam score. So if we click on spam score over here, 99% of the time you'll see your spam score points will be 1.1. Now the higher the score is, the greater the possibility that the email won't reach your prospect because it's going to be deemed as spam. So as you can see, this is 1.1 now. There's nothing that's really spammable here in this content that I've provided. So to get around that, what we can do the reason for that is because there's no plain text. So basically you just highlight this whole thing, copy, and then you come to this little bottom section over here that says plain text. Paste your text in there. We can close that. Go check the spam score again. And that's zero. Okay. So without a doubt, 100% this email will reach your prospects. Right. That was just a quick tip on the side that I gave you. All right, now the next step would be to click on next step. So here's our email right over here. If we want to go back and edit our email, we'll click on edit message. Or if we want to go and create a brand new email, we'll create new. But for this purpose, we want to get our autoresponder set up for this email actually live. So we'll just go save and publish. So as you can see on this screen here, you basically got a calendar over here. And this is day zero, and we've got day one, two, three, etc. Now, day zero, meaning as soon as your prospect opts into your squeeze page, they will receive this email immediately. Now, the pretty cool thing is if you don't, for whatever reason, if you decide that you don't want this email to be sent on day one, you can literally just drag and drop. So, let's say we want to drag it to day number two. You can do that and boom, it's as easy as that. So, let's just keep it to day number zero. And then if you'd want to go ahead and create your other autoresponders, Let's say you want them to receive an email the following day. You just go to day one here and click. And then you basically follow the exact same process as we did before. I'm not going to go through all of this because I've already done that. So it's basically the same setup. This The only difference is that this is changed to one, which will be the very next day after basically a 24 hour period after they've opted into the squeeze page. So let's go back to the calendar quick. So that's basically how you set up your autoresponder. Now, there's another form of email that you can send, which is called a newsletter. So let's say you've really got your autoresponder set up with a couple emails set up to be delivered on specific days, etc. And let's say one day you've had an idea, you've had something pop up in your head, and you want to send that message immediately. What you do is you come here and create a newsletter. Now, a newsletter is an email that gets sent once off to your list or to heavy, whoever you choose to send it through. So you'll basically click on newsletter here. You'll come to new email creator. And you'll pretty much follow the same steps as the autoresponder. So let's just give this a name. 
Right now, obviously, you won't give it those type of names, but uh, I'm just doing this for the example of this video, just to make things a bit more quick. Click next step. Right, so let's go ahead and choose a template for this one. So we'll use this template. Okay, now as you can see, you can set up things as you please. All of these have different blocks that are completely editable. So let's say you were happy with this. This is our, our final um, our final edit on our email. We go to next step over here. And then you can click on send to send it immediately. Or you can click schedule to actually schedule a date and time when you want this newsletter to be sent out. So let's quickly go back and check what other functions GetResponse has. So we'll just go and click the exit button over here. Now we're brought to the main dashboard. Right, so we've gone through messages. We've got statistics tab at the top here. This basically, you can see the email analytics and all the statistics of the emails that you've sent out to see what's performing, what's not performing, etc. You've got surveys over here that you can send to your list, which is pretty cool to basically see exactly what your list needs. So you can uh, basically deliver what your list requires, which is a very powerful thing. You've got forms over here, which basically you can sort of create. It's like a squeeze page sort of thing that you can uh, add to your website. Also pretty cool. And then as mentioned before, at the beginning of this tutorial, you've got your landing pages here or squeeze pages, in other words, that you can also create with GetResponse. If we come a little bit to the right here and we click on My Account, you've got the support section here. Like I mentioned in the beginning, the support section is absolutely brilliant. You can call them. They've got live chat. You can obviously email them as well. And what's pretty cool is that they've got video tutorials. So if we click on here on video tutorials, if you're unsure on how to do anything, 98% of the time you'll be able to find it in here. So let's say you're basically wanting to know how to disable double opt-in, which I've already showed you, but let's say for this example, you don't know how to do that. You can click on this link here, and it'll give you a video tutorial on exactly how to do that. Extremely user-friendly, very, very cool. I highly, highly recommend GetResponse. It is the only autoresponder I use. I have used many others, but they do not come as close to GetResponse with the support, the functionality, the user interface, and the deliverability. It's fantastic, and the fact that you can also create different action-based autoresponders like the clicked autoresponder and the open autoresponder, etc. If you're interested and you want to get going and you want to jump in, I'm going to leave a link below this video. Please let me know if there's any questions, anything that you don't understand, and I'll be happy to help you. Hope you enjoyed the video. Chat to you soon. Cheers.